And David Carnes has been telling us about this week's heat wave for mm -hmm. several days now. And you know, sometimes, David, sometimes yeah. things turn out to be not quite as bad as we had anticipated. Is this going to be as bad as we thought it would be? Uh, for, yeah, for us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. uh, well, it probably won't break any records. The closest we're going to come to breaking a record is probably going to be on Friday. We're forecasting a high of 99 on Friday. The record is 100, uh, but the heat and humidity, yeah, it's going to be in pretty full force. Now, today, 92 degrees. Yesterday, we're forecasting 97 for today. I don't think we get to 97, but we could easily get up to about 95 before all is said and done. Right now, though, a little more cloud cover than anticipated, keeping us in the low 90s. Think that makes it feel okay? No. 102 Chattanooga feels like 106 in Cleveland feels like 102 in Dalton. The heat index is cranking. Feels like it's in the low 90s in our higher elevation. So sitting out on the porch, that would be the thing to do with a nice shade over you. Uh, 92 right now will stay below 90s through the evening and then 89 degrees by 8 p.m. We do have partly cloudy skies. We were mentioning the heat uh, across the nation and you can see that heat dome really in full force. Tomorrow we're going to see the heat wave continuing with high temperatures getting into the upper 90s and low 100s. Heat Heat index values above 110 in some of these spots. So these are all of the current heat warnings underneath, excessive heat warnings underneath. So the temperature and the heat index combined for tomorrow, uh, we're going to see it getting up to about 96 degrees. The heat index will be in the low 100s, mostly sunny skies. So let me sprinkle in a little bit of a silver lining with that. Looking ahead to next week, we're talking about well above average temperatures the rest of this week on into Saturday. Next week, we're going to see below average temperatures sliding down into Chattanooga. We're talking mid 80s instead of mid to upper 90s. Quick look at the tropics and here we go. Look at this tropical storm Harold. That's the one that was in the Gulf of Mexico. It's made landfall very heavy rainfall around Corpus Christi and we're seeing that continue to bring rainfall in uh, to the interior of Texas. Take a look at some of these rainfall amounts the past 24 hours. Five to more than six inches of rain in the swath right across Corpus Christi. They have had some flooding but it's been very localized. Tropical storm Franklin is beginning to bear down now on Hispaniola. It is going to be moving into the Dominican Republic, moving across the island, and it is going to create likely some flooding scenarios there. And then it moves back out into sea. This could increase as it moves out into the Atlantic as a Category 1 hurricane taking a turn to the northwest. We're going to keep a close eye on that one. Other tropical activity, this now, uh, this is yesterday at a 70% chance of development. Now, National Hurricane Center has downgraded that to a 40% chance, and this one has a 30% chance, but it's going to be a fish storm way out in the Atlantic. So, high heat and humidity continue, cooling a bit Sunday into next week, limited rainfall throughout the week, nothing on our future cast showing for tomorrow uh, on end to Thursday. High pressure continues. We're not going to have any kind of rain at all. Friday, same scenario. And then on Saturday, especially in the morning, we might have a couple of stray showers popping up. Then Saturday afternoon, it is going to heat up to 98 degrees. So the hot weather, the humid weather is going to keep on keeping on. Mid to upper 90s. Again, 100 is the record for Friday. We're calling for 99. 98 Saturday, and then we'll see it beginning to cool down. 91 Sunday, 20% chance of a spotty shower or two, but the big deal is going to be that cooler air. Even the humidity is going to be dropping a little bit, so I think by Monday, Tuesday, relative to now, it's going to feel pretty okay, guys.